Hi guys, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Uh, weather's absolutely atrocious outside. Uh, we had storm Eugene, I think it was Eugene, uh, last couple of days. And we're on to a different storm today. And if you can see my head and nose, that's where the neighbor's fence flew out and hit me as I was uh, trying to stop it. Anyway, weather's rubbish. Thought I'd do a video indoors and um, yeah, just show you my, my new purchase. So if I turn the camera around and then I'll talk you through what I've bought and how um, how I'm going to pot it up and look after it. So bear with me. Right, so that's what I've bought today. If you can see that. And it's actually Pleone Formasana. So they call them windowsill orchids, um, which is, I guess, really what they are in the UK. Um, it's too cold to, to keep them outside as uh, sort of some of the garden orchids. And it's not really like, a, you know, the showy Phalaenopsis orchid. So it just has a, a short flowering period and that is how it grows. So looking at this, um, this bigger section here, or the old uh, bulb, pseudo bulb, that would have produced a flower there last season or last year. And then you've got those two little bits there. It's a bit of a bonus to have two, to be honest, but those two little bits, they will be the bits that if they get up to size, will then produce a flower for this year. And you can see just there, that some uh, root nodes, nodules are starting to appear. And this came packaged just in some sawdust. So we are um, 20th of February. So getting later on into Feb to the end of February and actually it's perfect time for planting these now because they're just starting to, to naturally break their dormancy period. Um, and as I say, you grow them indoors in the UK and they are in the orchid family or type of orchid. So because of that, they want to have a fairly free draining soil uh, like most orchids. They're an epiphyte, so would naturally be tree dwelling, living up in a canopy or amongst leaf matter. So just get their moisture from the atmosphere um, or rain that's falling. So it's a bit of a, a nostalgic plant for me. I grew, grew these 30 something years ago. Um, back when I was younger, we didn't have uh, access to better materials. So I used to use about an equal mixture of a multi-purpose compost with orchid compost, which is essentially bark shreds. But actually, what I'm going to do into this mix is I'm also going to use some perlite. So that will aid with the uh, moisture retention, but also add drainage. Because as uh, hopefully some of you have seen my previous videos, it's a volcanic matter, very porous. So um, the high porosity means that it retains water and the water only comes out of the perlite as and when the plant needs it or surrounding compost requires it. Other than that, it kind of gets locked away and um, becomes better drainage. So that's my multi-purpose compost perlite and bark and we'll just give that a nice mix through we'll add a bit more perlite so we've probably got equal volume of the uh, thirds of the third mixture like so make sure it's all mixed in nicely and i'm just going to be potting for this year into one of these pots which is a ten and a half centimeter pot so i will give it a quick rinse out even though it's only had this sort of compost in it but i'll give it a quick rinse out and come back to you 
Okay, so that is a 10 and a half centimetre pot, all nicely cleaned out. This is my mixture here. Just give it a nice, it is nice. And all we're gonna do, fill the pot about, well, maybe about halfway. Might have gone a little bit deep there. And pop your pseudo bulb into the middle. And what we want is so that this top piece here is going to be, if you put it level with the top of your pot, so then it's going to be sitting above your finished level of your soil. So you want it just above the top of your soil mix. And this is a very fine free draining mixture. So you want it to be nice and loose and open. You don't want it compacting down. And then just give it a light, light press down, not too much. Quick wipe down for good measure. And that is it in the middle there. And all I'm going to do is use the Mr. Bottle just to moisten the top of the surface and around that. And that is it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it like that now until we start seeing some growth. And the growth will obviously come from those two smaller pieces that are on the branch side. And for the time being, that's just going to go into there and we'll go onto the windowsill. And that's as, well, I say simple. That's all there is to it really. And that's how you start off your pleonies. And uh, hopefully, this season we'll get some growth on that and be nice to see some flowers so let's see what happens so thanks for watching the video uh it's a little bit different because i don't normally do much on houseplants or if anything but um yeah hopefully you'll pick up something from watching the video uh if you've got any questions then please send them over to me i'll do my best to answer them for you if you do like what i'm doing um, please subscribe to the channel it's always good to see some new people don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos that I'm doing and uh, yeah always say it but you know most important thing is just to enjoy what you're doing have fun doing your gardening whether that's outdoors or inside and uh, till next time my there you go and I'll see you soon bye for now